Arching across the water, two bridges, the Golden Gate and the San Francisco Oakland Bay, are strangely silent. In the time of humans, the Golden Gate was an engineering marvel, crossed by 108,000 cars every day. But two days after people, the only thing crossing the bridge is a single, silent assassin. San Francisco's greatest landmark will die by fog. The moisture that's in the fog itself, condensing on the bridge, will promote the formation of rust. So in a very real sense, the fog may steal in on little cat feet, but when it comes to a steel structure, it's a tiger. One hundred years after people, the crucible steel of the mighty Golden Gate Bridge has been humbled by common oxygen. What you're talking about is a bridge that is painted rust red now. Years from now, it's going to be rust rust. It may very well be the same color, but when you get close, it's not going to be a healthy place. Dense fogs feed the rust, which threatens at the point of highest stress the vertical cables that bear the crushing weight of the deck. The roadway is not designed to support itself. It's really designed to be suspended from these cables. The failure of one cable quickly triggers others around it. Unsupported, the roadway plunges 245 feet into the chill gray waters of the bay. It's now 200 years after people. Only the skeletal spectre of the Golden Gate's soaring towers remains.